everything that left you that should not have left by the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus I call it back I know it can be so hard at times to feel motivated when no one around you believes in your vision because of mistakes you made in the past due to ignorance brace yourself up as this message is set to bring you the hope and the courage you need to pursue your dream with passion yeah. now one final instruction i will give and then we'll begin to pray i want you to stand by faith connecting with all your loved ones that are not here when it has to do with this atmosphere of the spirit you can have the faith of the centurion you don't need to come to my house i am a man under authority having soldiers under me i say to one go and he goeth come and he cometh you too i know from where you are you can speak the word only i want you to believe there might be someone sick at home there might be someone oppressed at home they may not be able to make it here they may not be following online but by faith you can connect that tonight this salvation is for me and my house do not bend to the negotiation of pharaoh when pharaoh saw that the fire was getting hot he said we'll allow your men but leave the women and the children back moses said no way everybody will go everybody 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 thank you jesus Here's what I want you to do for me now. The first set of people that God is visiting tonight, prophetically, are people who have experienced strange, mysterious delays in life and in destiny. And the Lord wants to bring deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, when I speak like this and the Spirit of God begins to move, I want to plead that you please help me bring the people out by the Spirit of God so that we can make progress there is a lot for us to do tonight every destiny that has been tied down delayed so that you will not make progress in the name of jesus i am declaring right now as the holy spirit comes upon you that yoke of delay is broken that yoke of delay is broken that yoke of delay is broken broken by the spirit of the living God right now I declare that grace is falling on you now the moment that anointing falls upon you I want you to know that that chain is broken in the name of Jesus therefore I stretch my hands as many who have been delayed in life and destiny let that yoke right now as I speak wherever you are be broken now please bring them out let that yoke be broken now the yoke of delay I prophesy restoration as that delay is broken over your life broken over your life some of you are ministers of the gospel that spirit of delay I rebuke from your life right now I rebuke from your ministry right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead be set free now open your mouth and begin to declare your liberty from delay from the spirit of delay Delay be broken. Delay be broken. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Pray and you will pray southeast. The spirit of delay must lead your life and your destiny. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing three stones. One, two, three. And the Lord is saying it represents covenants of ancestry and that he wants to set people free. 
many many people you may not know but as i pray right now the holy ghost will descend upon you and every covenant connected to the earth that has tied your destiny as you shout the name jesus that grace comes upon you now satan you let god's people go now are you ready one two three shout jesus be broken now be broken now bring them out be broken now i command my god please help them i cause foundation every covenant of ancestry every yoke of darkness hear ye the word of the lord be set free i bring you liberty now liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit from all the regions that represent the east of the niger any family any destiny tied to witchcraft i say it again be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord i'm seeing something like a ring being removed from the hands of people and there are all kinds of wicked satanic covenants that have tied people and the ring is a symbolism of covenant i'm praying again whatever it is that is not of god that has bound you to the devil as i stretch my hands towards you every evil that is not of god that has not been planted by my god let it be uprooted from your life now let it be uprooted from your life now let it be uprooted from your life now. Let it be uprooted from your life now. Hallelujah. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. Jennifer. My goodness. Please help them. Help them. Be careful so you don't march on people. Just take it easy. I will pray for all those who are in front here now so they can return to their seat. Jennifer, I presume that there will be many people with that name, but I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Jennifer, I want to pray for you. Every planting, I'm going to pray for your family is using you. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you after this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me, I don't know if you are a couple or you came alone. Five years, you are trusting God for the foot of the womb. Please listen to the instruction. Don't just jump out. Five years. Who is the person? Five years. Five, exactly five years. I'm not saying you are just trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Five years. This is what the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Salvation has come for you. My friend, you, we have to hurry up. There's a lot for us to do. She's five years. My sister, look at me. I want to pray for you. Five years. Ah, this is amazing. I'm praying. Ah. God is going to rewrite people's stories. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for this lady. But I'm hearing a shout from my right side. You would think that I'm praying here. 
and yet the person the power of God is touching is by my right side at the crowd there and you are wondering okay what is God doing what kind of impartation is happening to someone right there that I'm praying for people in front here and I've not even attended to their needs and yet the person that God is touching is right somewhere at the back please when you find that person bring that person for me it's a marvelous impartation that God is doing for that person you will never be the same it is a reign of the spirit upon your life my sister five years you've been trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb where are you from huh? Abia State. Abia State. you believe in Jesus father I don't care what the situation is in the name of Jesus by the rod of a higher priesthood I stretch my hands towards you according to the time of life in the name of Jesus return with your miracle return with your miracle I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all of you here I hope you are married in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare trusting God for the fruit of the womb my sister look at me this lady I just saw like fire come upon your head and the Lord is saying it is over this is what I announce to you by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God let it come to an end by the Spirit of the Living God in the name of Jesus now there are two ladies you are not married but you're going to begin to feel fire literal fire in your belly this one is a prophetic thing God is doing this one has nothing to do with it's like pregnancy but there is an impartation of the Spirit there is something that God is doing it says out of your belly shall flow there is there is a stirring within your spirit man and what is happening to you is as a response to that hallelujah let me pray for those who are here first all of you who has come out my dear the lord is going to use you this lady wearing blue i release that grace now upon you you will never be the same by the power of the holy spirit may the lord find a mighty vessel in you in the name of jesus now for all of you who are here i stretch my hands everything that represents the workings of darkness the workings of witchcraft right now you are here standing i release you let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now let, uh, let it be broken now from your life broken from your destiny never to return to you again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is joel joel j-o-e-l i'm hearing a name joel 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 is there someone with that name you are wearing like i'm seeing it like an orange t-shirt joel is there someone like that an orange t-shirt this is what i'm seeing in my vision joel please verify what is your name my friend come i'm under the shadow of grace your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your grace your influence is all over me joel look at me what do you do I'm a comedian and a student. You are a comedian? Yes, <laughs> What is the relationship between comedy and ministry? Because this man, as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a mighty call of God upon your life. This is, this is, this looks like you are just making people laugh. But there is a grace that is coming upon you. You will marvel and wonder at what God begins to do. I stretch my hands. May that anointing for your destiny, let it rest upon you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for this joel in the name of jesus you are joel also i decree and declare as you have believed i release grace upon you may god use you mightily in the name of jesus christ your father does woodwork like a carpenter like woodwork what does your father do carpenter <laughs> I am victorious. My friend, listen to me. God is going to use you to wipe the tears of your family. 
listen because i'm looking at someone in my vision and this has been your prayer that god will lift you so that you will lift your family members let me tell you the truth god is going to honor you in ways that will surprise you and as i'm praying for him i'm praying for everyone here may god raise you for the sake of your loved ones i say it again may my god raise you for the sake of your loved ones in the name of jesus christ there is someone here your mother has cancer this is what i'm seeing your mother has cancer i'm going to pray for the sick shortly but just just allow me to do what god your mother has cancer if there is such a person please let me just speak over your life very quickly before we continue your mother has cancer whether you are outside please when you find such a person let me know and if it's someone who is following online let me know i want to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death i want to pray for you there is someone here as you are here now you are holding the photo of your loved one i think it's like someone who is sick a hard photo copy i'm not talking of uh, maybe phone by phone a hard copy of your loved one i want to pray for you please make sure you don't tell lies and and then you respond quickly so that we don't waste our time hallelujah you are holding a photo if you are that person let me just speak over your life before we pray hallelujah one two three four five six seven i'm seeing seven people in my vision and no no, no i'm not even talking of this this was something else the seven people in my vision that i'm seeing i want to pray a prayer for them now and that prayer that i'm praying for them seven of you there is a mighty grace for leadership this is the anointing that is coming on you i want to pray for them seven there might be many people but this some of you do not even know that you have been called is a joseph order of grace i pray for you wherever you are seven of you may that grace right now rest upon you may that grace rest upon you apostolic leadership by the spirit of god may that grace be released upon you now in the name of jesus christ may that grace help them please may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus let me pray for you the one holding the photo i i can imagine that most of you are holding people's photos but i want to pray for you one of you right now as i'm speaking the power of god is coming upon you i just saw like fire just come upon you there's one of you right now it's an instruction god gave me to wait until that happens and then i can minister to you in the name of jesus the son of the living god right now for the sick person you are holding ah i'm hearing another name even though i'm in the east i'm hearing how do how do i don't know if it's the name of somebody or your son name how do a u d you i believe that should be it this is the east but i'm hearing that name how do and i'm hearing restoration for that family i don't know who that person is but if you are in this place please let me minister to you otherwise i want you to open up your heart to receive i pray for all those who are holding their photos here in the name of jesus the son of the living god for every need that is represented in the photos of your loved ones may the god of heaven arise and visit them right now write this down there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus hear what i'm saying there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus and some of those people are in this place right now i'm not even talking of fellowship leaders there is a mighty revival i started seeing this in the morning and the lord has given me the allowance to release that grace you are a student on campus here it's time for you to receive of this fire and this grace lord where are they the men and women that you are calling by the spirit in this season at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hand may this mantle from heaven that it will rest and ignite you with fire from whatever campus you are here represented father at the count of three let those that will spearhead your mighty move 
across campuses may this fire and this grace rest upon them now one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire upon the campus prayer like never before revelation like never before consecration like never before both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a gentleman here i want to pray for you i hope i'm not wasting your time you are from a royal family you are from a royal family you are from a royal family you are a gentleman from a royal family i want to pray for you there is something that destroys people where you came from royal make sure you are from a royal family please let me who is that person you are from a royal family where is that in Otumbi, in Andrew. what's the name of the um how do they how do you call it here so someone help me what was the in Nitsu, royal family of river states okay how about you sir Nsuka. Alola Nsuka. what family is there someone like that many of you may not know how about you i want to pray there is a spirit perhaps not all of you but the lord is asking me to pray you come from a royal family there is something we need to destroy even though it's a royal family people never become great and if anybody rises to be great it's like a sacrifice you start having dreams and that person must go down i want to pray for you why are these gentlemen coming you are from a royal family father in the name of jesus christ there are two of you here the call of god is upon your life the mighty call of god is upon your life call of god is upon your life i'm praying for you let me start with those two in the name of jesus christ the dealings of the spirit that will make you become powerful vessels may that grace be released upon you now in the name of jesus christ may that grace be released upon you and then for everyone here any covenant connected to the family you are coming from that kills people and destroys people in the name of jesus we declare that spirit leaves you once and for all <laughs> hallelujah you have been looking for your brother this is almost four years and you have not seen the person this is what the Lord is revealing to me. Almost four years. It's like the person, whether is missing or went somewhere, but they've not been able to see the person. They don't even know whether he is dead or the person is alive. And the Lord is asking me to pray. The person is not dead. With what I'm seeing in my vision, somebody told him that they want to walk out a way for him and take him to Europe to go out of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that family. Huh? No, listen, don't, don't cry. Your brother, who is that? Who is, who is, who is your brother? Yes, sir. Where? From Delta, sir. From? From Delta. You are from Delta? Yes, sir. You've not seen him? No. For how long? More than 10 years now. He's about to travel abroad. Sir. This one I'm talking about four years, but I will still pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Where are you coming from, my friend? I'm seeing a chain around you. And the Lord is saying, lose him. I declare right now, let that chain leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that chain be broken from your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, everyone who is missing in your life and everything that is missing in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may it be restored now. May it be restored now. May it be restored now. In the name of Jesus. Now the Lord wants me to pray against the spirit of death. The spirit of death. Some of you will be surprised as I pray this prayer. Because you go to sleep 
and all you see are dead people that have already gone some of them calling you and you have prayed for some of you you have fasted and you don't know what is this thing that is connecting you with the dead i want to pray for you and bring a separation between life and death there is a gulf in the spirit and they should never meet anyone here who is a victim of the manipulation of the spirit of death right now as i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you for your deliverance be set free help them please be set free from that satanic influence i declare you shall not die i declare you shall not die i declare you shall not die in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision madam i'm seeing in a vision your prayer mountain this is what god is showing me in a vision and the lord is saying i should tell you that you have been faithful that another cubit is measured for you in the spirit this is what god is saying i should tell you that another cubit is being measured for you in the spirit and that you will begin to walk in higher levels of prophetic power this is what god is revealing to me that he will start showing you not just things relating to those around you but even things that are connected to nations and territories and god is saying as a sign you will start having people come from many nations for a retreat on your prayer ground not just people around people will come as a group from other nations and say we have heard about what god is doing we are coming here to come and pray and to access grace may the lord bring his word to pass even by the spirit of the living god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ is there someone with a name elo chuku elo chuku e-l-o then chuku elo chuku i believe that is a name elo chuku is there someone with that name i want to pray for you the lord wants to bring to end every satanic captivity Hello, Chuku. I'm hearing that name in the spirit. What do you do, sir? Your wife. Is it a male or female name or both? Okay, both. Your name is Hello, Chuku. Your wife, sir. What do you do? Me. I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. Yes, sir. You run a church. Yeah. I want to pray for you. We'll pray since you are standing in for your wife. We'll pray for you. Hello, Chuku. The Lord wants to roll away shame and reproach. Is it your name or your son name? Sir, my son name. Your son name? Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. There is a gentleman that I'm seeing by the spirit of God. The revelatory grace. The grace of a teacher. But it's a prophetic dimension of a teacher you will become a rising voice almost it will be like where did this guy suddenly come from you will start teaching scripture with such power this is an ordination that god wants to bring you into this dimension i know that there are many people who desire this grace but i'm praying for you now there is a gentleman but i'm also seeing the fire spread there are at least 11 of you from that one person a strange grace prophetic dimension of the teaching grace i stretch my hands towards you wherever you are may my god bring you into that level of spiritual understanding hallelujah listen i know that i'm praying for everybody but there is an exact gentleman you will start ministering with strange levels of understanding your spiritual acumen your understanding of scripture people will look at you even those who are close to you will say in the last two or three months you have changed something has come on you this man is one of them wearing glasses take that grace may that grace rest upon you a strange order of the spirit of revelation in the name of jesus the son of the living god your eyes will see insight into the word of god and everybody who desires that grace i stretch my hands may the spirit of revelation rest upon you now may the spirit of revelation rest upon you now 
rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Bishop, sir, with all due respect, the Lord is saying I should speak to your wife and to you. First to your wife. Madam, I do not know you, but there is the grace, a prophetic grace that God is placing upon this woman. You have seen it in a dimension, but the Lord is measuring another cubit. And I stretch my hands. May you begin to walk in this strange order of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your Lordship, sir, with all due respect, let me just speak to you. I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit. And every time the Lord shows me this, he's increasing your sphere of influence. I'm placing grace. I release that grace now. Let it come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for you and your wife and for your vision, I shift you by prophecy into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help him. Help him. Let's honor him as touching what he carries. God bless you. Thank you for your humility, sir. May the Lord truly honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ.